Hello and welcome. If you are an Australian, chances are that you have used the Victor Lawn Mower. Victor is a global exporter of mowers and garden equipment, not the sort of company you would normally associate with aircraft production. Victor began with founder Mervyn Victor Richardson, who was born in 1893 in New South Wales. In 1916, he helped his elder brother Archibald build a low-winged monoplane with a radial engine with contra-rotating propellers. Quite remarkable for the time. They were filmed demonstrating the machine at Mascot in Sydney. Later that day, Archibald, who had invested everything in the project, crashed the aircraft beyond repair. In the 1920s, Mervyn worked as a motor car salesman. He designed the Austin Wasp, a sporty, duck-tailed coupe body for the locally assembled Austin 7 car. In 1948, his son Gary had started a lawn mowing business during university vacations, and his father helped him by making two complex reel-type mowers. Mervyn continued to build lawn mowers in his backyard workshop and registered the name Victor, spelled V-I-C-T-A, Victor Mowers, in the mid-1950s. Over the next two years, he built and sold 60 real type mowers powered by imported Villiers two-stroke engines. In 1952, he hit upon the idea of putting a Villiers engine on its side to drive a set of rotating blades which could cut longer, tougher grass. He assembled a prototype of the Victor rotary mower from scrap metal, billy car wheels, and a jam tin for the petrol tank. This went into successful production, making Richardson a wealthy man. Meanwhile, Britain's Royal Aero Club and the Lord Kelmsley Flying Trust had organized a design competition in 1953, which had been won by Henry Milliser, the chief aerodynamicist of Australia's government aircraft factories. There had been 104 entries, but only 14 for the two-seat category, which the Air Tourer won. Henry was assisted by his two colleagues, Gordon Bennett and James Tuddy. Their win was remarkable because the competition hadn't been advertised in Australia. A late notice meant less time to prepare. Polish-born Henry Milliser had immigrated to Australia in 1950. He had flown with the Polish Air Force and then the RAF in World War II and had a master's degree in aeronautical engineering and lots of industry experience. In Australia, he worked on the Jindavik and Malkara missile design. The Air Tour design was a cantilever, low-wing monoplane configuration with a fixed tricycle landing gear. It had interconnected ailerons and flaps with both systems functioning, and that's now known as a flaperon. This design was considered a possible replacement for existing training aircraft, mostly tiger moths and chipmunks. A wooden prototype was constructed by a small group of enthusiasts, the Air Tourer Group of the Australian Ultralight Aircraft Association in the Melbourne suburb of Williamstown during the late 1950s. This group became the Sports Aircraft Association. This prototype was registered as VHFMM, which was first flown in March 1959 by Flight Lieutenant Randy Green. The all-metal prototype VHMVA followed in December 1961. In the 1960s, Victor had diversified from lawn mowers and now made red phones, a private payphone system installed in shops, and also project homes. Mervyn Richardson, chairman of Victor Limited, was interested in entering an aviation-related industry. During the period 1961 to 1966, Victor Limited undertook production of the Air Tour, building both 100 horsepower and 115 horsepower models. Production continued until 1966. The company chose to suspend production after building 172 Air Tours due to cheaper imports. The aviation division remained open to provide spares for existing aircraft and a continued development of the four-seat air cruiser. The division was completely shut down on the 20th of January 1967. 
The manufacturing rights to the air turret were purchased the following year by the maintenance firm Aero Engine Services Limited, known as AESL, in New Zealand, where further production of the 115 horsepower and 150 horsepower models took place until 1973. The Victor Air Cruiser, a four-seat derivative design powered by a 210 horsepower Continental 0360 engine, certificated in 1967 and was a Henry Millicent design. AESL acquired the rights to the design in 1970 and used it for the development of the CT4 Air Trainer. A total of 168 Air Tourers were completed by Victor in Sydney and a further 80 built by AESL in Hamilton, New Zealand. AESL delivery pilot Cliff Tutt used an Air Tourer registered ZKCXU Miss JC for a record-breaking flight circumnavigating the globe between May and August 1969 and covering 53,007 kilometres in 288 flying hours. He wrote about this in The Flight of the Kiwi. Miss JC is now on display in the Museum of Transport and Technology in Auckland. The Australian certificates of type approved for the Victor Air Tour 100 and 115 are now held by the Air Tour Cooperative Limited of New South Wales, Australia. About 90 air tours remain in Australia, some in New Zealand and the United Kingdom. Aero Engine Services Limited and Air Parts New Zealand Limited merged to form Pacific Aerospace in 1982. They developed the CT4 from the Victor Air Tour in the early 1970s and continued low-level production for 30 years. Australia bought New Zealand built CT4s for the Royal Australian Air Force No. 1 Flying School, Central Flying School and Australian Defence Force Basic Flying Training School. By the way, the Air Tourer in Australia is still known as the Victor. Thank you for watching.